Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for visiting me. I wanted to share a couple of things that I had ordered recently that came to, in the mail today. Um, so first of all, this um, date stamp. I've been looking everywhere in my room for my date stamp, which I think goes through the year 2022, but I cannot find it anywhere. So after searching for like an hour, I decided I would just put in an order for another one because they're like four or five dollar items. So um, I ordered this one. It goes up all the way to the year 2030. Um, so hopefully I won't misplace this one in my room. I don't know if I gave it away or got rid of it or which I, I cannot imagine. Um, but it's got to be here somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. So anyways, picked up this little cutie and um Happy to have that. And I also purchased um, this packet of Zebra um, Sarasa clip pins. Uh, these are in uh, vintage colors. There's two different sets in here, two different colorways. Um, so I thought these might be fun to have as well. And they are in a 0.5 um, ballpoint, gel ballpoint. So I really am interested in this like mustard um, yellow color. But it looks like a beautiful plum purple on a beautiful red and uh, so I'm excited to try those. I'll probably try those in my um, pin swatch book. I, I can share that with you. And then I also ordered uh, some inks from Birmingham Pen Company. They are from Pittsburgh and so this arrived today. Cute little package on this box. I love the little sticker for the best experience. Open the box from this side. <laughs> Cute. So I've gone ahead and cut this open but I haven't taken a look inside yet. So let's look. Ooh, what's this? Cork. It's like a little coaster. The Birmingham Pen Company, Pittsburgh. It says the reverse side is to catch drips, gather stains, and make the cork your own. Oh, so it's like a little ink bottle coaster. Reusable ink bottle coaster. Birmingham Pen Company, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Cool. Well, that will be a handy little thing on my desk. Suppose Looks like five inks I ordered. <clears throat> How cute these are wrapped. Holy cow. And this came in a FedEx um, mailer. So this box was in a FedEx, inside a FedEx mailer. Look how tidy that is. Ooh, let's take a look. So. Birmingham Pen Company nice white box. It's like a nice textured cardstock. Ooh. Ooh. This is nice. This is like Bakelite. A Bakelite lid instead of just plastic. Um, this is the color Eroded Bronze. Nice. 60 milliliters, manufactured and bottled by hand. Fountain pen ink made in the USA. Oh, I'm excited, I don't know if you guys can see, that's kind of like a turquoise -y color. Maybe if I hold it up over this, you might be able to see. I don't know. I'm loving the packaging. and the packing material. Oops, I opened this one upside down. Let's see, this one is also 60 milliliters and this one is in the color terracotta. Gorgeous. Ooh, I'm excited to try these. I'm gonna take these out of here. Oh, look at this. Cute. Cool paper. Cool, nice and die cut. All right, let's see what else we've got here. I was looking for inks made in the USA and um, came across this company and thought I would give them a try. I like some of the really earthy colors that they have. Ooh, pretty. This one is called uh, Cordovan. And it's like a purple, almost like a blackberry looking color. Let's see what it looks like when it's used. And then this one is... Let's see, I 
can squeeze it and kind of tell which end the lid is on. This one is called Rotten Seaweed, so this is going to be a really beautiful um, green color, kind of like a kelp green. And then the last one I ordered was, let's see, Projector Film. Oh, this is kind of a fun um, brownish green color, so I wanted to try that one as well. Projector Film. Cool. So I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, my book out and I'm going to use a glass dip pin and try these. So stay tuned. Did you see it came with this really cute pin nib paper clip too? How cute is that? That'll be fun to use in my journal. I'm going to go ahead and use my little um, cafe notebook here. Let's see. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this again, um, just to kind of smoosh the ink around in a circle. Um, it's just a blank um, wax seal that I got to use for pressing um, little pieces of dried flowers into my wax seals so that there's no design. Um, but it's pretty handy to smoosh things um, into a circle too. So I thought I would continue using that. Uh, it's really easy to wash off too, but let me go out and get some water. I've got a nice container of water here. So let's see which one to start with. Choices, choices. <clears throat> I think I'll start with this Cordovan since it's a purple tint. And um, there's another purple one on my page here. Ooh. was beautiful. Again, that one's called Cordovan. It's really kind of like an eggplanty purple. I love that. I am on the search to find um, a good purple. So this one doesn't look like anything I have. Now it's a little redder than my Purple Mountain's Majesty. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything that I have. How cool is that? And there's still lots of ink on the glass nib. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a quick rinse in my water. <clears throat> Let's see, let's move on to terracotta. Or should I do eroded bronze? That's blue. Terracotta, let's do terracotta. I think this color is gonna be pretty as well. Fun, fun.
so let's go ahead and put a circle down. I'm going to try um, using a pipette, which is this little um, dropper, and uh, just dropping a little drop of ink down. There we go. I'm giving that a quick rinse. And now I'm going to use my little stamper here. <laughs> Give it a splat. <clears throat> and I just like uh, drawing a little bit of um, doodles around the edge of the ink here. It will pull, if there's wet ink here, it'll pull it into my line, or if there's dry ink, I can see how it um, overlays or glaze. And then I also have been enjoying doing this, where I take some of that wet ink and just draw it in a spiral. Cool, so let's take a look and see how that dries. This is really pretty. It's kind of hard to explain the color. They have really beautiful shading though, and shading is when the ink comes off the pen tip um, inconsistently, so it'll leave lights and darks, like here where the G and the H meet, because there's more ink there on the beginning of my H, that area is a little bit darker. I really like that. I really like the uh, unevenness of the colors. Lots of ink still coming off of that too. So pretty. How interesting. I'm going to go ahead and give that a quick rinse and uh, this is fairly wet here so I'm going to let this go ahead and dry a little bit uh, before I turn the page but uh, I'll be back with you when it's time to turn the page. Alright so these are dry now so I thought I'd give a quick look at them and um, such a beautiful color this terracotta is really pretty it's kind of like a dusty pink that's got a little bit more um, a little bit of more red in it I guess really really pretty and then this Birmingham um, Cordova gorgeous it's like it reminds me of um, like when I get blackberry juice on my fingers when I pick blackberries <laughs> really really pretty so let's go ahead and turn the page and give um, the next three a sample here so I'm gonna go ahead and do let's see this is gonna bug me if it keeps flipping up here I'm gonna do, let's see, or I think I'll do eroded bronze next. And uh, I don't know if you can see how pretty that is in the bottle. It's really, really pretty. Let's see, I love that they use the Bakelite lids. That's nice. And I really enjoyed the process of using the little dropper here, so let's do that again. see oh my gosh that's gorgeous look at that we can see the purple coming out of there ooh fun All right, next up is, I'll do rotten seaweed, which is this kind of uh, sea kelp type of a green.
cute little sketch there of some seaweed. This is a beautiful green. I really like this, but if you, um, you know, if you're not into these kind of olive yellow greens, this one may not be for you, but I love these types of colors. Oh, I didn't do my little um, doodles around my circle up there. Love, love, love. Beautiful shading as well. Again, the lights and darks of these inks are gorgeous. I'm going to give this a quick rinse. We have one more. Let's see. It is called Projector Film. I love this. This is just the cutest little thing. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so next is Projector Film. And this seemed to be like a greenish brown, if I remember correctly, which is kind of what it looks like in the bottle as well. So. And give that a sploosh. Ooh, yeah, neat. Ooh, cool. Definitely a greenish brown. You can really see those inks separating. It reminds me of um, a color you would see in the Southwest, like with the rock formations, maybe in like Southern or Central Utah, because they would have like this reddish brown color with the rocks. And then there would be, you know, hints in the springtime, especially with the hints of greenery at the base of um, rock faces and things like that. Very cool. I'm just about running out of ink here on my pen. There we go. <laughs> All gone. Gorgeous color, very interesting color. And certainly very different from anything I have. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a pinkish green. I don't know, that's different. Thanks for joining me as I shared these fun inks um, with you. Um, this was really fun. It did take, um, I don't know, a couple weeks um, once I placed my order to get here today. Um, you know, if they've been getting a good steady stream of orders, I can see we're milling their own inks and bottling and doing all the business side of things too. It's going to take them some time, so. But I'm happy to have these. I'm excited to play with them. I love this color, too, the terracotta. And again, this just reminds me of smashed blackberries. <laughs> Gorgeous. Well, I'm happy to have these. And um, I think it was free shipping um, with a certain number of inks. I think that's probably why I selected five colors because then I got free shipping. But anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this little share. Oh, the other thing that I picked up recently was this, and this came in the mail yesterday. This is the Hero Arts Scrubber Block. And I saw my friend Lydia using this in one of her videos, and it's basically just a stamp cleaning block. So it's got the fiber, the stamp cleaning fibers here. So you just mist it with a stamp cleaner and then... Uh, rub your stamp on the block to clean it and voila clean stamp so let's see do I have anything that has ink on it let's see how it works shall we Ooh, I don't know if I want to use black I don't know I'll have to get back to you on this <laughs> I don't want to dirty it up just yet so but cool huh I thought this was a fantastic idea um those inks cleaning pads always are so large you know the ones that are like the scrubbies they're so large and take up so much space um, I loved this idea just being a little block it is um, two and a half by three and a half and has a really nice um, textured scrubby on here and then it's velcroed 
onto the block. I thought that was handy as can be. So you can just take this top part off and wash it and clean it and then let it dry and then put it right back on the wood block. And then when you're um, cleaning your um, scrubby, you're not getting your wood block all wet. So I thought that was ingenious and it's got a nice foam um, surface here as well that the uh, other side of the Velcro sticks to. So I thought this was a wonderful idea. And uh, so I picked this one up online. So I think that's all I have to share with you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night. Bye.